Right, well, you may have seen the Power Cube video I did a couple of months ago, and people seem to be interested in such things. The video did quite well. This one's been very useful for out on the porch at night. Instead of putting a flashlight trying to get it set up or something, I've been using this with this uh, three quarters of a watt bulb that I also made. We've been getting some nice light from it. It's all been very useful that way, never mind the main side to it. And this one cost about $100 to make, and I thought, well, I've got these bits here. I bet I can make it for less. If I swap that controller there with that one, because this one's like $30 and that's $10, put it on this system with a battery that costs about $20, and these only cost about $20, we should be looking at significant savings. I've also got an XT60 connector for the solar, and I've got some wires arranged. So let's build it and let's have a look at what cost it actually comes to. Well that was easy enough, I've swapped the controllers across. Ironically, the power cube used to have this controller on it before. I just uh, took the wires out, put them back into the other. As you can see there's 13.1 volts on the power cube. So that bit's done. Now on to building the second one using this $10 controller. Now as to placement of things, I think I'll put this on the top. It's about the right width, about the right length. This will go on the side. And also because I'm using one of these uh, cigarette type things from a car, because that's what the end of this needs, it'll allow me to take this off and plug other things in if I find anything that's meant for a car. Like a, I don't know what. <laughs> things that are meant for cars. But anyway, I think that'll be I think that'll be the layout. That's those on. And I'm using this E6000 glue to attach everything. Uh, next will be the solar connector, which I think I'll put there so the wires will reach. And then the main power switch, which I'm not sure where that's going yet. Okay, that's those two on. I've got the positive of the battery going to one side of the switch and out into the positive on the charge controller. So for the negative, I found this old battery here which has got uh, a correct kind of connector on it. So I'm going to take that off and that will form the negative connection from the battery to the charge controller. So there we go. And the next thing to connect is this car cigarette lighter socket. That will allow either connecting it to the inverter, to use the inverter, or to plug other things into this so you might normally plug into a car. And there we go, all finished. Now, I'm going to power it on for the first time. Yep, there we go. 13.2 volts. And yes, indeed, the green light's on, on the inverter. So, now we'll see what it can do. With a wasp included. Right, first of all, to show off the cigarette lighter port, I've got a adapter thing plugged in there that we're doing USB output to power this fan. So, so there we are, that's pretty good. It's coming out of the cigarette adapter port, which we can, of course, use with the top of the controller. I'll put it on again. Next I've plugged it back into the inverter. I've connected up this mains lamp. Let's see if that works. There we are. So that's that running fine. And finally is a solar panel with an XT60 end on it. We're running the mains light and there it's showing that power is going in. Now one thing this is going to be used for is for charging my tablet that I play games on in the evening. It'll last much longer than a regular power bank. All I've got to do is to plug the thing in and off we'll go charging. There we are, shows the charging. And as I say it lasts much longer than one of those, which you'd have to charge up anyway. It'd be days. You could do this for, I don't know, a week or something. 
Also, we're thinking of putting lights on this tree at Christmas so it can run those. Right, let's have a look at the cost of this. Let's have a look at the prices. The same battery, $21. The same charge controller, $12. And an equivalent inverter, $15. So that gives us $48 plus a couple of dollars for wires and bits equals $50. The nice thing about this is all the specs are written on the charge controller and on the LifePool 4 battery. Okay, so that is PowerCube 2. Thanks very much for watching.